Hey guys, this is Ashley Rader with your Blog Genesis Blogging Quick Tip. Today I'm going to go over the three easiest ways to deliver your free content that you are using as your lead magnet. So basically whatever you're offering for people in exchange for their email address on your website, I'm going to show you the best three ways to deliver that content to your readers. So here we go, let's dive in. So if you've gone through any of my trainings, you know that I'm big on building your list early, early, early. You cannot start building your list early enough. And the best way to build your list is by creating some kind of a free product, free offer, free piece of, of good information related to your niche that you're gonna extend to people for free in exchange for their email address. Now, one of the most common questions I get from people regarding this subject is, how to actually deliver the free content to the new subscriber. Now, there are some fancy software programs out there that, that do things like membership management and protection of content and user registration and things like that. And that's a bit more complicated than what's generally necessary when it comes into your lead magnet. I do go into how to use some of those in my Blog Genesis Academy program. But for most lead magnets, really, there are three basic methods that you can do, use to deliver your, your ebook, your PDF, whatever it might be. And I'm going to just quickly kind of highlight each one of those and show you how to set those up here. So the first method is to actually deliver your PDF, your ebook, whatever it is, as an attachment in the email that gets sent confirming somebody's sign up. So they, they opt into your list, they go to your website, they enter their email. In most cases, the email services will require a double opt-in. So the person will then have to go check their email, click a link to confirm that they do in fact want to be on your list, and then they, as soon as they click that link, they will receive a confirmation email from you. And that's the email that I'm saying that we can go ahead and actually directly attach a PDF into that email. So I'm just going to show you here how we go about setting that up. So here we are in my GetResponse account. Now I use GetResponse, so most of my examples show that, that particular method. Um, but the process is very similar if you use Aweber or MailChimp or Mad Mimi or whatever. So basically we are going to create a message that gets sent to the user the moment that they subscribe to our email list. Now, I believe if you are on MailChimp's free plan, you don't have access to your autoresponder option until you do a paid upgrade. And I do recommend eventually, as soon as you can, activating that feature because your autoresponder can be a super powerful tool for marketing. But if you aren't at that point yet where you can invest in the upgraded version of MailChimp, what you can actually do is the same thing that I'm about to show you here. You can actually do that with the confirmation email itself. So they, MailChimp will allow you to send one automated email as soon as somebody confirms their registration. And you can actually use that to attach your free offer. So in any case, what we're going to do here is we're going to send an email out the moment somebody confirms their subscription. So for get response, when we're using the manage autoresponder section, that's going to be on day zero. And basically we can go down here and we can specify different dates, but I just want it to go right away. So I'm going to have it send immediately and check any day of the week. So here we choose a subject line for our message and it can be anything you want. I would come up with something, um, you know, compelling, but just for example sake, I'm going to just put here's your free download. And then I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm not going to go through the process of, of writing the whole email out. But what I want to show you here in get response, here's where I would actually write in, you know, thank you for subscribing to my list. I hope you find a lot of valuable information. And here's the attached uh, free report, PDF, ebook, whatever it is that you uh, requested. And if you look down at the bottom here, there is a little paper clip icon. If we click that, we can actually add an attachment. So using this method, we are actually directly uploading the, me the message or the free offer directly to that email. 
So one thing to note here with this is that the uh, size of the attachment can't exceed 400 kilobytes. So it, if you have a really big ebook or a lot of images or something like that, this method won't work for you. But if, if you just have a simple, you know, maybe a top 10 list, maybe a link a, a list of your, your top 10 blog posts, um, something like that that's simple. You could just put that together in a Word document, convert it to a PDF, and then add and then upload it to your, your autoresponder here as an attachment. So this is the first method, and this is probably, um, out of the three options, this would be my second favorite. The other two involve directly sending somebody back to your website. And this is typically my preferred method because I really like people getting used to coming back, becoming familiar with my branding, familiar with my website. The more I keep them on my page, the more uh, they might click around and find out some of the other things that I have going on. And so I, that's just typically my preference to actually get them to come back to my site to uh, redeem their content. So. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a page on our site. Now, it's important that you set it up as a page and not a post because we don't want it to show up in the list of blog posts that we have. We wanna actually hide this page from kind of public viewing. So here I'm just gonna write the same title is your free ebook, we'll just say. We'll say in this case there's an ebook. And then in the content of the page, I would just say something like, thank you for subscribing. Now, in my, in, if I was doing this for real, I would write a much better page. Um, I could provide links to other great resources that they might want to check out. Um, this is a really great page for you to be able to kind of draw them in. You, you want to give them the download to the free report, but you also have this opportunity to maybe direct them to some other great content, maybe even offer up some affiliate links for some products that they might want to um, have have ready when they're reading your report, anything like that. So do take advantage of this page to not only deliver your free content, but maybe draw them in with, with some additional content or recommendations, things like that. So now that I have this page created, what I would, what I would do if I was doing this kind of in real time is I would go ahead and upload my PDF or my ebook or whatever it might be to my media library. So I would upload it there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pick an image here because I'm not actually connecting anything. So let's just say this, I was sending out this awesome screenshot image as my, as my free report. So I would go in here, grab the URL for this particular item. Now, it, this would be a direct link to a PDF if I had uploaded this as a, as a PDF. And I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna hyperlink this sentence here. Here is your free report. So I'm gonna just link this. Now there's two options once this page is created to actually sort of protect this content. One of the options is to go over here in the publish area and change the visibility from public to password protected. So what you could do here is set this up so that nobody outside of anyone that opts into your list could actually view this page. They would have to have the password in order to do that. And the way you would deliver the password is in your confirmation email back over at GetResponse when you say, okay, here is the link so you might do something like this. Click here to download the free report. The password to access it is free re report. So I would make the password something that's pretty easy. You don't want, this isn't like a password for your bank account where it has to have, you know, 15 characters and uppercase and lowercase. This is just kind of some loose protection so that not everybody can access that page. I would make it something pretty simple, easy to remember where they can just go and type it in. You don't want to make it difficult. Once they get to that download page, you don't want them having to go back and forth and trying to figure out, well, now it's asking for a password. How do I get that? You want to make it very clear and simple how it is that they can access the content. And if I was doing this, I would hyperlink this first 
this first word here to the actual page, my permalink for this particular freebie offer. So again, I would make that look much more, you know, a lot nicer, but um, this would probably be my, my third out of, out of the three options, my least recommended method, just because it's not, it's not very common that people are, are going to be sending around the link to your free report. It's not something that's going to be out there. And, and even if it does, more, more than likely people might read it and come back to you and subscribe. So I, this is probably my, my least favorite method. Some people are just adamant they want some kind of password protection so that not everybody can access it. But to me, it's not necessary to take that extra step when you're, you're giving it away as a free offer anyways. So here is my preferred method. This is the way that I typically would go unless I'm delivering you know, a, a course or something like that. I would leave this private and I would go over here to the URL and I would make it something complicated like, you know, put a bunch of numbers in here, something that somebody's not going to just guess. And that way it just makes the URL difficult to guess. So what you can do now, there's a couple of things you'll want to do beyond this. I use and I recommend the WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast. And so down below here, I will go and I'm going to click over to the advanced tab. And under Meta Robots Index, I'm going to no index this page. And basically what that means is it's going to tell Google, I don't want you to discover this page and I don't want you to rank this page in your search engines. So that's really, you know, a major concern that you would want to just protect it from ranking naturally in the search, in the search results. So we're going to go ahead and no index it. And the other thing we can do here to protect the content is there is a plugin called mpress hide from search and basically what this does is hide this page this delivery page where they can download the free report from somebody being able to search for it on my the front end of my website so let me just open this up here and i'll show you what i'm talking about let's say so if somebody went to the front of my website and they decided i want to just do a quick search and see if i can find the free report somewhere on her website without protecting the, that particular page from the search field. If somebody went to my search form and typed in, here's your free report and clicked search, they would find right here, this is the post or the page that we just created, here's your free ebook. And they could just go there and download that. Now again, very few people are gonna go to these steps, but this is just a couple of small protections you can put into place to keep your PDF from being, you know, kind of like widely available. So now if we go back to the post and we've, we've gone ahead and we've activated the mpress hide from search plugin. And if you scroll down in the right sidebar here, there's this new box that says hide from search. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to check that off. And we already see here that the post is set to no index. So right now it's being protected from two different search functionalities, the WordPress search functionality and Google search. So hopefully with these two in place, it's not going to show up in the Google search results and it's not going to show up in a quick search on your site. So now let's go ahead and update that. And if we go back and refresh, we'll go back and we'll just search for the same phrase again. Here is your free report. Now that page doesn't come up at all. The only thing that comes up is a blog post where I must have put those particular words somewhere within the blog post. So this really is my preferred ideal method. Like I said, most people aren't going to go through the process of really trying to hunt down your free report. And, you know, it's not worth that much time when they could just put in their email and get it for free. But this is a great way to just kind of loosely um, protect your, your free ebook or PDF or whatever it might be. And it gets people coming back to your website, like I said. So this is my favorite preferred method. Go ahead and make it a publicly visible page, but just kind of hide it from the search functionality. So if you have any questions on this, please feel free to comment in the comment box below or go to the uh, Blog Genius Mastermind Facebook group. It's a closed group, but you can request membership if you're not a member already. And I'm happy to answer any questions you have there. This is your Blog Genesis Blogging Quick Tip, and I will see you next time.